Well, hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your website as SEO friendly as possible. I've touched on this on another uh, video that we did, how to create, edit, and publish a post. And I thought I would reiterate just how important it is to make your web post and pages as SEO compliant, friendly as possible. So let's go ahead and we'll go into one of our posts that I've created on our website and we'll actually go into an actual article. And anytime you want to edit or tweak any of your pages or posts, all you have to do is find which one you want, hit the word edit, and you'll notice this one here, this says our SEO title, SEO keywords, and SEO description. You'll notice that on this article, we're in compliant. We've got things listed in all three categories. But you'll notice right here, uh, there's, there's some space there. We're not SEO compliant here. This means that this page is not likely to be ranked very high or ranked at all on the search engine. Because there's, well, there's no title, there's no keywords, there's no description. This is not an SEO friendly web page, okay, or article. So let's make it SEO friendly. So we just go over here and we hit edit. And it will come up here. And this is our actual post here that was published. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to go down to our application called All-in-One SEO Pack. This is a wonderful application. We make sure we use this on every single website that we build, both our complete custom sites that we build from the ground up and our free sites will come with this application already embedded in your site ready to go. So let's go ahead and fill in these blanks. These blanks will make sure that we're SEO compliant. And what we're going to want to do is fill in the title, a description, and a keyword. Okay? We want to use as many keywords as we can possibly come up with. Now on the title, we do not want to exceed 60 characters. And on the description, we do not want to exceed 160 characters. Exceeding these maximum limits will cause our web page here, our post, our article, or whatever we're, we're making SEO friendly, we will basically create our, a problem because the web engines, the search engines, will not want to, well, they just won't look at us as, as nice as if we were within their maximum limits, okay? So we want to make sure we're within those limits. So let me go up here and I'm going to basically copy this title and I just right clicked, went down to copy. I'm going to come back down to the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and paste this in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick a description, okay? And all I do to keep it real simple is I pick the first paragraph, like so. Now don't worry about getting over 160 characters as of yet, because as you can see, I went way over. So here's how I fix it. I come up here and I just go ahead and guess at where 160 may be, and I go ahead and cut it. Well, that wasn't right, so I undo it. And then I come down here and let's see, I'll cut it there. Yep, that's 174, but notice it's still over the 160. So I just hit the backspace until I'm at close to 160. Now what I like to do is pick the last word and I'll just put a couple of dashes, three dashes. Because this, you know, you this means that there's more there that just didn't show up. So, you know, it's going to continue somewhere else. And we want to encourage the reader 
or the one that we're wanting to we're wanting to encourage the person that we that will come to our site to continue reading this article. I'll get it right here in a minute. All right, so now we want to add keywords. So we'll go. I I just simply go ahead and just add some of the keywords that are already in the description and the title. And you can use as many as you wish. Now here's a key, the main key to making all of this work and making it extremely SEO friendly. Your, excuse me, you're wanting your keywords, your description, and your title to be all relevant. Okay, you're wanting all of it to be to be relevant to each other. Okay, related to each other. If you don't make it related, the search engines will still not rank you very high. So you're wanting quality content on your page and you're wanting the content to match your title, your description, and your keywords. So whatever you write, if you whatever your title is, it must be in relation to your description and then that must be in relation to your keyword entry, okay? Very, very important. Well, that's as simple as that. Then I just come over here and I go ahead and update this. And then this, this actual article that was written will now be SEO compliant. Make sure all of your web posts and pages are SEO compliant. And this way you'll be in good shape and one of these days we'll see you on page one of Google, Bing, or Yahoo as well. Alright, well uh, if you haven't yet received a website from us, check out basiccustomwebsite.com and see if one of our free websites might work for your business or personal use. Alright, well thanks again for watching. Have a great day.